Hello, it's Guy here from Digital Bobbits, and this is just another quick video to show you what I'm working on, which you can clearly see is Steamboat Willy. As most of you will have heard, he come out of copyright um, because he's over 100 years old now. That means um, it's a bit of a grey area. Um, there's things that you can do and you can't do. For example, I don't think I could now go out and make a bunch of merchandise with Steamboat Willy. Um, but I am allowed to remake Steamboat Willy the cartoon. Um, I can't make another character and call him Mickey Mouse because Mickey Mouse the brand is still owned by the Disney Corporation. But this particular cartoon and another one, I forget what one that, which, what that's called, um, we are allowed to play around with. Um, so I thought I would make Steamboat Willy in Adobe Character Animator and see how well I could get him to animate and that's what I've done and I'm going to show off how he is operating. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on all the motion capture so the camera can start controlling the puppet and just to give you a general sense of how he's operating. So I'm going to press control and turn that on. Right, so as you can see I've added um, my usual trick of 2.5D parallaxes. So in Adobe Character Animator you can add parallax to the face but you can do a hacky thing where you can basically turn all any layer you want into like a nose and so it will move that around and you can play around with the settings and whatnot. So anyway that's what I've done and so if we look at Mickey now if he turn, if, well, if I turn my head left and right you can see I've got the parallax on the eyelids, well, the, whatever you call them, the brows or whatnot, on his nose, on his ears, on his hat, on his buttons here, on his tail. Um, I've also added in a layer picker. Um, you can see it in the tail at the moment. So as I turn my head, it's cycling through a bunch of um, frames of the tail moving left and right. And I have done that for the nose as well. I don't know if I lot like, you can't see it yet. So at the moment this is just one image of the nose and it's parallaxing across the face and I think that works perfectly fine if I was making an animation with this character I think the way he looks here is perfectly fine however I did try and make something a bit more advanced so let's just turn that on so now as I move my head left and right what's happening here is it's cycling through my pre-made animations and the reason I made this nose is that the original Steamboat Willie his nose you know is kind of at this angle a lot of the time sticking up so you know that's how I originally made it and you know it's all right um, and loud pick is certainly a powerful feature that you can use in your digital puppets to give really um, good head turn effects but I think I'm happy with the way it was. So, you know, something I tried, it looks all right, but I'm happy with just a normal parallax. Let's just go into history and to the way it was. Right, so let's see what else have I done. I have also made a whole bunch of um, animated um, eyelids, mouths and brows and whatnot. So let's have a look at some of these. In fact, I'm just going to turn my camera off for a second. In fact, no, let's just turn off the motion capture. Right, so. Got a smile. Sad face. Surprise. Angry steamboat really. Fed up. Another happy face. Cheesy face. Scared face. Kissy face. Cheesy grin face, cheeky smile, surprise, fed up, happy, angry, and a big smile. Let's just turn the motion capture back on. And let's see, it's looking a bit sad. So yeah, as always, you know, I always like to add a lot of expressions to really infuse, you know, a lot of emotion into the character. Um, generally, though, 
these expressions, I just make these for customers. They're just like preset actions. When I'm animating, I've got all the, the mouths, all the eyelids, everything completely separate so that when it's in the timeline, I can just drag and drop. And it's a bit like NFT, so just mix and match. And you can literally make hundreds of different expressions. So as well as all the expressions and all the um, parallax, I've also added in some, you know, general gestures. So like low double gesture, mid double gesture, high double gesture. I've got loads of different hands. Hands on his hips, pointing to the right, pointing to the left. Because it's not just in your face that you emote. You remote with your hand gestures. So, you know, you add all these things together to have a very, you know, advanced um, digital puppet, which obviously you can use for animation or you can use in real time um, as a VTuber. In fact, if I turn this on, testing, testing, a one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. So, you know, this is a live lip sync demonstration. And the only other thing that I haven't shown you yet is I've also added um, walk and body features. So, if I turn on the walk, have him walk in on and up so you can have this character moving around um, in fact if I just um, turn off the body speed for the moment you can see him walking on the spot I haven't done the flip body yet so it's just like in the one pose I did also add the motion library so we're going doing a little bit of gang gangam style dancing Anyone who knows Adobe Cater Animator knows it comes with lots and lots and lots and lots of pre-actions um, for you to throw onto your puppet. So, you know, if you're making an animation, you know, a lot of the work is already done for you. So, that is it. That is how my Adobe Cater Animator digital puppet Steamboat really looks and operates. Um, what I'm going to do next is I am going to get it rigged up in Real Illusion Cartoon Animator 5 and then we can do a bit of a comparison and see, you know, how they compare. Um, so that will be my next video. So if anyone's got any questions about how this was made, feel free to pop um, a question in the comments below. We are going to start up our Digital Puppets live show again. That might be next week or the week after, but certainly by the end of this month, we are going to start doing a live show where we talk about how we work, what we do and answer questions from people and do interviews as well with other creators from across animation. So hopefully you'll join us for that. But that's all from me right now. I'm Scott from Digital Puppets. Goodbye.